Hi guys, welcome back to Better Hobbies. Of course, we are back from our Japan trip. We'll be spending quite a lot of money and getting lots of purchases. So we've got quite a few reviews to go through. Upcoming videos are review of Tokyo Hobby Shops. And also we've got the reviews of these three kits. Aoshima's 124 scale GTR Liberty Walk. The Trumpeteer uh, Tiger One with the Zimmerit. And finally, the Trumpeteer Brem one. We've got lots of purchases that we've made out there. We need to get some essential equipment. This will also be on a review. This airbrush, another Procon Boy uh, trigger action airbrush that I picked up in Japan. Uh, but mainly we've got supplies including oil paints for weathering, which is going to finish off our build of the Grumble. We've got some other paints, plenty of masking materials. Nothing too special, but essential supplies um, so that we can proceed with our build. So um, we'll start with these reviews and hope you enjoy the videos. Okay, guys, so the first review we're looking at the Aoshima 124 scale Liberty Walk GTR. Uh, Liberty Walk is a company in Japan that specializes in car modifications of exotic vehicles. Why have I chose this kit? especially seeing that our channel focuses on military models well i have got quite an exciting project lined up for this uh, for this build uh, i'll reveal that a little bit later on but in the meantime have a look at the liberty walk zero fighter gtr and that's sort of really what we're looking at so the box has got a depiction of the model uh telling you a little bit about liberty walk uh, you got your parts, your paint call outs here on the side. And I got this in Hiroshima inside a department store there called uh, LAB. It was 2,660 yen. I got it tax free though, so it saved me quite a bit of money. Inside the box, instructions, sprues. For the interior, uh, note this, they've got two uh, interior cockpits, I don't know why. Clear parts and decals and very important, the car kits is a mask because you need to spray the interior colour. We'll do that during the build. These are the wide body arches that you get. I'm not going to open up all these bags of screws. There's nothing special to look at, really. Okay, there's the hood or bonnet, the rear uh, valance. Inside here, you get the rubber wheels there, very low profile tires, the chassis of the vehicle, and some detail parts and some chrome parts as well here is the um, obviously the body of the vehicle what i noted with this example i'm not too sure if i got a bad mold but there is some distortion on here and that's why i headed out the bag immediately to see if i could correct it and i probably can uh, i just sort of did that by pressing in if i get this the right way around the transparent glazing and making sure that these front arches you can see it here very clearly see the front arch bulges out I'm not too sure if that was damaged when I transported it or maybe I just got a bad mold and then also I have been sort of scraping up removing all the mold seams from here in preparation for the build which would be very quick I should imagine Clear parts are excellent, no distortion, etc. Get them all polished up. Here's the rear wing. No photo etch at all in this kit. More chrome parts for the lights. I'm just going to show you quickly the instructions. Uh, this is what we have to do in the build. First part you get is a template. The template is exactly 124 scale. You see that it hits exactly the size of the model. And that is to remove portions of the arches rear and front to enable you to fit the body kit parts here those are the sort of atypical 
literally walks sort of trademark that wide body kit. And we've got these excellent markings on here, but we are not going to be painting it in that off white color. Like I said, you can probably do a zero fighter and you're going to be doing sort of military style sports performance car. So that's a very quick review. It's um, the price in Japan was excellent. Uh, uh, about I think I got that maybe 2,300 yen so the tax-free price and that's why I got it I want to get some atypical Japanese um, for you know a quick project next kit is Trumpeteer's version of Panzerkampfwagen Aus E Mark 6 of course the Tiger one this is the Zimmerit version so it's got Zimmerit inside the kit uh, a lot of modelers are um, a little bit worried about doing that anti uh, mine mag anti magnetic mine paste called Zimmerit that was on the sort of uh, mid war uh, German vehicles protecting them from assaults by infantry that would place magnetic mines on the hulls of vehicles. So they developed this paste here to stop the mines adhering to them. Uh, this kit is going to be used as a project in conjunction with Hell Let Loose and that is a video game that I'm pretty heavily involved in and I'm going to be depicting the uh, Tiger one from Hell Let Loose box art's pretty good, it shows you these uh, versions that you've got here um, there's a lot actually, there's six on this side correction five on this side and six on the other so different paint schemes uh, and then the um, highlights are the uh, the Zimmerit the decals and uh, small foot wet fret inside the box Trump's here also do a booklet instruction which is always very clear. Have a look in that minute. A colour painting guide, and they all show the sort of hero version in one big sheet, and then the other uh, versions. So there's a lot of them here, another 10 of them here to look at, and um, one disadvantage of this is, I'll just tell you straight away, you're only getting one profile view of the camouflage on that, on this, on this side here, you're getting all views, so really the only accurate painting just, uh, depiction is on here. Uh, one thing to note as well, there's no um, information on which unit this is. Maybe you can research that. A lot of there's a lot of uh, World War Two uh, German armor specialists and loads of information on the internet, so that you can go for a version that you want to depict. Because there's no information whatsoever on which unit they are, where, which theater of war they were employed in. I'm guessing uh, most of these are um, the Eastern uh, Eastern Front. Okay, get a flyer as well for some tools, master tools from Trumpeteer's range. Upcoming vehicles or ones that are being released, like their 135th scale mouse with the full interior, and some other recent productions. Of course, here is the the um, the Tiger that we're looking at, and then some other kits as well. Straight away, here is the Zimmerit sheet which is textured plastic, which is very thin. There's two sheets of that. Sprues. Over here are the main parts, mantlet. There's two versions of this. There's a mantlet that's already got the Zimmerit already on it. Let's just have a quick look at that. So you have got the option to build this with or without Zimmerit coating. <gasps> right, okay. Let's just have a look at that. There you go. Just hold on, just get that in focus there for you. So quite a nice texture on there. There is another mount without Zimmerit. 
which is right here. So if you want to do it without Zimrit, you can do that. Lower bathtub style hole. One large molding for the upper hull. Note the engine deck grills are properly hollowed out. Single piece photo etch fret, which is the engine grills again. So that's really all you need for this kit. The turret, one piece, again, without Zimmerit on it. And then you've got the decal sheet with all those different markings. There's not really that much to point out about this kit, except for the fact of, when I was looking at this before, I don't think I'm really opening up those sprues. I'll, I'll do that when I, when I do the build, you'll see all the parts in detail. Um, I'm supposed to point out is, okay, there's running gear. There's turret detail. This might put off some of you guys, does not put me off at all. You've got independent independent uh, tracks, single link tracks, so you need to glue each and every single one of these together, which it can be a bit tedious, but um, that's the route that Trumpeteer choose. I don't mind it. It is a bit of work, it's a bit of tedium, but you do get a good result. Nothing really else to look at. It's a simple kit. It's not the best Tiger one by any means. Um, I built the Dragon ones, but this is this one's pretty cheap. Um, this feature as well, but you have got the Zimmerit to put on. We're gonna we're gonna do this, of course. We will be using the Zimmerit sheet, and I want to experiment on just stressing it, so damaging this as well. Let's just open this up quickly, so we can just have a look at some of the texture on there. Yeah, so it's a styrene sheet, three-dimensional Zimmerit, and it's very uniform. So um, for some versions, it might not be the Zimmerit that you want to do, but this is the easiest, one of the easiest ways to do it. There's been several approaches. I've seen resin, I've seen photo etch um, Zimmerit, and then this styrene approach. I think to me it uses the same approach. You've got your parts layout and the instructions and straight away it's telling you you know two versions to choose from Zimmerit or no Zimmerit coat. Uh, sprues are very straightforward. There's not too many of them. There's not massive parts in this build. It goes together. I think it would be a very quick build to be honest. There's those independent links, 96 of them per side. It's telling you each and every single stage when to apply Zimmerit and when not. Got quite, there's the rear jack and details. That's pretty nice, some wing nut details for the front fenders. We'll have a look at the tools and stuff when we go in the build. We'll see how detailed they are. There's no photo etch for the clamps or anything like that, which uh, might, you know, if, if you want to super detail this stuff, you can buy some aftermarket. I won't be, I'll be building it straight out. One thing that I have noted on here is um, there's a lack of transparent sprue. So all the optics are um, <coughs> solid plastic. So you have to paint the effect of the optics, like here for example, on that hatch. That's just a protrusion there where the periscope would be. It's just solid plastic, there's no uh, transparent parts. I think that's the same for the coupler as well. So is there 19, 20, 21? The barrel is a split barrel, there's no aluminium barrel or anything, it's probably to keep the, the price down. This, this model I procured from um, Tokopedia which is an Indonesian Amazon site and I got it for a pretty good price so I just wanted to get a quick and easy build with, with Zimmerit and of course we'll be 
following that up with the how that loose version that I'll be doing. There's the uh, periscopes for the coupler right there, and as you can see, yeah, they're just a solid piece of plastic. So that's just about that. Very simple, straightforward build. And on to the next review.